Hi guys, it's Olga. I'm so excited because today I get to share with you my healthy version of Nutella. Growing up, I was addicted to Nutella. I used to eat it with a spoon right out of the jar. So of course I had to figure out a way to recreate and also make it healthy so I can enjoy it today. Technically, I have three three ingredient recipes for Nutella. They're all very similar, just the sweetener is different, but I could never decide which one is better. I've made each recipe multiple times and they all taste really good to me. I even made my whole family try each one of the recipes and rank them, but of course they all prefer a different one. Today I'm going to explain to you how to make all three of the recipes so you can decide which one you want to try or you can try all three of them and then let me know which one is the best because clearly I can decide. Let's get started. So the first ingredient you will need is hazelnuts. You will also need cacao or cocoa powder and your choice of sweetener. For my first version of Nutella, I use a liquid sweetener. Here I have maple syrup. For another version, I use dates. And the third variation is using coconut sugar. Since the process is the same for all three recipes, I will make the first version for this video using maple syrup. We're going to start by roasting hazelnuts. Preheat your oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Place hazelnuts in a baking dish and single layer and roast for 15 minutes stirring them every 5 minutes. After 15 minutes, take them out and allow to cool down for a few minutes. Roasting hazelnuts is optional, you can use soaked raw hazelnuts as well, but personally I prefer using roasted hazelnuts for this recipe. When your hazelnuts have cooled down, place them in a food processor and blend for about 10 minutes. Every minute or so I like to give my food processor a break and scrape the sides. I used to be afraid to process nuts for too long in my food processor because it's not one of those fancy expensive ones, but it turns out it's pretty powerful and gets the job done. After 10 minutes, you will end up with hazelnut butter, which is pretty epic by itself. Then go ahead and add cacao and maple syrup. Process for a minute or so, then gradually add water to get the desired consistency. Blend for two more minutes and your homemade Nutella is ready. This is such an easy recipe and I guarantee you will be blown away by the results. I usually store my Nutella in a jar. It will stay fresh in the fridge for up to five days. As always, I will have exact measurements and directions for all three recipes on my website at fablunch.com. You can use your homemade Nutella in a lot of different ways. You can spread it on your toast, add it to smoothies, use it as a frosting, dip strawberries in it, just let your imagination run wild. Let me know in the comments what are some of your favorite ways of eating Nutella. So if I was to compare all three recipes, I think that the one using maple syrup looks and tastes closest to real Nutella. And this is what Nutella made with dates looks like. It tastes similar to the maple syrup one, but I find the texture lighter and fluffier. If you want to use Nutella as frosting, I think this is the one you should make. And finally, this is Nutella made with coconut sugar. The taste is pretty different from Nutella. I find that it's richer and stronger. It's also more liquid than the other two, but it's absolutely delicious. Both of my parents actually prefer this one. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you can also subscribe to my channel by clicking the button down below so you get notified whenever I post a new recipe. Do let me know in the comments if you end up trying all three of these recipes and which one you like best. Also, if there's a specific snack or dessert you want me to create or make a healthy version of, you can also leave a comment for me down below. Alright, I love you guys. I'm sending you many hugs. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!